going to take you through minor burns and scalds. So a burn is caused from dry heat and a scald is from wet heat. So this could be from water, steam, hot surface or fire. We're going to look at three different severities of burns. The first is a superficial burn. So if somebody has a superficial burn, that would mean that the top layer of the skin only is affected. So it would be a little bit red, a little bit sore, a little bit tender. You then have your partial thickness burn where there will be breaking of the skin and there may be some blistering that has occurred. You then have your full thickness burn. This is where all the layers of the skin have been damaged and that may also be affecting the nerves. And it will look quite charcoal and have a fat waxy deposits. So to treat for a burn, the general treatment would be to run it under cool running water for a minimum of 20 minutes. After this point, we can reassess the wound and see if it needs further treatment by running it under the water. If we're worried about any risk of infection, we could use clean film to protect it. So we could just pop a couple of layers over the injured area, just scrunch it at the bottom, just to protect it. So clean film is sterile, just rip off that first layer before placing it on the wound. With clean film, it's great because it doesn't stick to the wound, just to itself. You can still see through it, so you can see what the wound is doing and you can still place it under the water if it needs to go under the water again. You need to think about taking any jewellery off if it's applicable. So if it is on the hand or arm area and there's watches, bracelets or rings, Take those off before swelling causes more circulatory issues. So when would you send someone with a burn to hospital? If you have someone that has a superficial burn, usually we can treat that in-house. But if the burn is over 5% of the casualty's body surface, they would then need to go to hospital. 1% is the palm of their hand. For a partial thickness burn, if it covers more than 1% of the body surface, then they would need to go to hospital. For a full fitness burn, we're always going to be advising that they go to hospital and actually we're probably going to be calling an ambulance for them. Remember, with a burn, with the loss of fluids, there is a large chance on larger burns and severer depths of burns that they would go into shock, so we would need to treat for that also. Some other things to remember when treating a burn is to make sure that you don't remove any clothing because if you remove clothing that's stuck to the burn, obviously you're going to remove skin as well. You also need to make sure that you don't apply any ointments or creams to the burn. You need to make sure that you don't apply any adhesive or fluffy dressings to the burn also. So when would you send a casualty with a burn to hospital? So you would send them to hospital, as we said, if it is a superficial burn that covers more than 5% of the casualty's body surface. If it's a partial thickness burn that covers over 1% and for full thicknesses, they would always go to hospital. We would also send them to hospital if the burn went around a limb, if it was on the hands, face, feet or genitals, or if it was a very young, especially under five years old, or very elderly. All these people would need to go and get further treatment at hospital.